Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in this week's tutorial I'm going to show you how to add text or symbols before or after the number counter values. So let me show you that. Alright, so here I have a number counter. So that's a module that comes in Divi and it sort of animates as it comes in. You can see it counting up to this 50 and then you can add title text. But there's a limitation. So what if I wanted that to be like $50 or 50 people or $50 per year, whatever it is, something before and after that number so that when it's coming in, it has you know uh, more flexibility to expand that other than just a number. So, so sort of oddly, but in the module itself, um, the elements toggle here has a percentage sign that I can add and um, okay so now I can say either a number or a percentage but still that's that's not very helpful because I want to do more things and right here are some examples of what we are going to achieve you can see I have the dollar sign here I have this uh, text after it here and then a dollar sign before and then like this per person text after so you can do all of these three scenarios with this tutorial so just click the link in the description, you'll come over to the written post, and then we have our video. Now the first step is adding the CSS class to the module, because you may have, like, like in this case, multiple modules, so these are all three you know, counter modules, or number counter modules. So you would want to add a CSS class to each one that's unique. And the reason it has to be unique is because, like, like for example, look at this one here. So PA number counter before, well, that one's going to go in this because we're adding um, this 50 is the number, and then this dollar sign is the before. So we would add that class to that one because it's before. And then I also have the other ones listed here. PA number counter after would go on this because it's the 2000 is the number, and then the space clients text period is after and then I have another one here PA number counter both if you're doing both because the dollar sign and then the slash person is after so it's on both sides so that is the first step adding that class or whichever one you need to the number counter module I'll just go ahead and open the builder here and show you and I'm not sure why but for me right now on this version of Divi or whatever is going on these numbers are huge in here I do not know why so we're gonna have to sort of ignore that must be a temporary thing so right here in the advanced tab of this one I will add the class so PA number counter before and this one over here same place advanced tab CSS ID and classes PA number counter after and then here you can see I've added PA number counter both alright so that's all we need to do as far as that goes and then next is actually adding the text so we're we're um, adding the text in a pseudo class uh, before or after a pseudo class and here you can see like before you can see we are targeting that PA number counter before and then we're actually targeting this percent value that's what it that's what the selector is called and then we're saying before then we're saying content and then whatever we want for content so you'll replace this xxx with whatever you want so you would just go ahead and copy that if you want the before and then content and then go into your website and paste it you could paste it in your Divi theme options or in your child theme I'm going to just temporarily show you with this Chrome extension. It's called User CSS. I like to use it for uh, quick things like this. So I can just paste in what I was using and then I'll show you. So up here at the very top, you can see content is a dollar sign. All right, that's right there. Um, in fact, let me just show you. See? Dollar sign there. And the second one, PA number, counter after, percent value after. I have a space, so note that there's a space because if I don't put the space inside the quotation marks, so you know you could put whatever you want there, you know, something like that. And then this other one again is just I have a I was using a dollar symbol, but then I have like a slash person, something like that. So there you go. Hope that makes sense, and you can. Um, 
modify the values like that however you want. One thing you will need to note is you can see that this adds obviously extra width to the module. So this first one here is a two column row and then this is a one column row. You'll have to watch that because if you try to make like a put all that in a three column row, well there's not going to be room to go with it. So you're going to have to have a wide enough row or a column or a module. So um, the one like just the dollar symbol is, is fine, but anyway, you get the idea. Now if you want to make more snippets, you would just duplicate the same process and remember to like if you wanted to let's say you wanted to have another module that you wanted to have something else before this 50 or another number um, whatever you wanted to put so you would you could make another class like PA number counter before two you know or number counter before dollar sign whatever you want to say like just change this actual selector and then change that selector in here and then you know you would copy this, duplicate it, because this is the most important, putting different content. So you'd want to put different content in that. So that's how you would make like additional number counter modules that have a different value. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And we do this every week. So if you're subscribed, this is the kind of thing you'll get. Hope that you do enjoy being subscribed here to the channel. And yeah, like I said, we, we keep putting these out we're excited about that. We'll continue to do that. And um, be sure to go over to our website, check out that tutorial as well. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.